Hi Libra, my name is Sansi, and uh, most of you know that I'm writing my uh, memoir. You know, I'm writing a book right now, so I haven't been able to do the readings. But I got through chapter 8, and it was a rough chapter, part 1, 2, and 3. And I'm just taking a break. So I thought I would give you guys a little, you know, reading. It'll be uh, past, present, and future, and the bottom of the deck, okay? So, first off, I got the Knight of Swords. That's the bottom of the deck and the overall feeling of the whole reading. And I channeled on paper, and most of you know I channel on paper. I don't. I try not to learn the meanings of the cards because I do better on my own intuition. So, but I will read to you from the book too um, for extra clarification. And oh, just real quick, it's the Modern Witch Instructional Guide. Um, a really good friend of mine, Jason, uh, um, you know, gifted me these cards and I'm really loving them so far. I'm really loving them. They got great energy, really good energy. So anyway, okay. So I got the Knight of Swords and I channeled angry about something going full speed ahead, reckless ready for a fight, stress, impatience, maybe going too fast for your own good. Think before you actually act. That's what I got. And let me see if I get anything else. Like the winds blowing, you know, in your face here. But you're going against the wind at full speed. I, you're not going to let anything stop you is the feeling I get from this card. Okay. So let's look it up here. Knight of Swords. Uh, oh, Pentacles. Oh, where's the Swords? Sorry, I'm not familiar with this yet, so I'm not sure where everything is. Oh, here it is. Bursting onto the scene with fervor and confidence, the knight rushes... Oh, here I should probably hold this up. The knight rushes headlong at their obstacles without a second thought. They are passionate and full, fully self-assured in their intelligence and opinions, but they're sorely lacking compassion and heart. If the night is you, it is time to second guess yourself. You are probably a bit cold and overconfident and possibly afraid of showing some vulnerability. It's left you imbalanced and ill-prepared for what lies ahead. Well, that coincides with what I just said, right? So yeah, just take a breath, you know, slow down a bit, possibly be more compassionate for some. And uh, I guess just not to be so... Um, strong-willed, you know, like you're just putting yourself out there, right? But anyway, that's just the overall feeling. And then I got the death card for your past energies. And I wrote death of an old way of living and doing things, changing jobs, moving, separation, something major is ending in your life right now. Or did in the past, because this is the past card, so the recent past. Something ended. A child or husband may be involved. The husband or man lost his crown, or in other words, his place or respect in the family. Light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, and that boat has sailed. So, you see... 
there's light at the end of the tunnel and that boat has sailed and someone got knocked off their crown you know I feel like by their own doings it wasn't anyone else um, it's something that they did uh, that maybe this family over here did not appreciate maybe weren't respected or something like that okay so an ending death is an ending it's not necessarily mean that someone actually died um it can but i don't think so in this instant and then i got for the present energies six of wands and i channeled a raise better job striking out on your own accolades so striking out on your own might mean you know a divorce or separation right um calm and steady new growth support friends and family cheering you on and i saw this v that she has right there and the word victory came to my mind uh so i think v is for victory so yay for that all is well let me turn the page Oh, and all is well. So that was all I got. But let me see if I get anything else. Well, you're the only one riding a horse. So uh, you're not having to put in as much effort now. And people are cheering you on. You have n new growth on the wands. So I just feel like it's a pay raise or something has improved in your life and this is the present energies okay so this is really good to see and let me look up six of wands oh here it is right here a v for victory that's what it says oh my god i can't make this stuff up where are we at right here a V for victory. Oh my God. That's crazy. You've just won a big battle and now you can enjoy the rewards. Your admiring supporters cheer you on in a victory parade since you just accomplished something big. Success is yours. Enjoy your moment and let your ego get that boost. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let your ego get that boost because you worked hard for it, right? And you deserve it. You deserve the accolades and the support of your family and friends and co-workers. It's fantastic. I love this. I love this for you. Okay, so now we're moving on to future. Your future energies. And I got the emperor. How good is this reading? This is really good. I mean, this is a little bit sad and you've gone through something, but we all do, right? We all have trials and tribulations and we all go, go through stuff, but now things are looking up and way, way better. Okay, and I channeled, the Ankh is referred to the key of life and you got it going on dressed very well sitting pretty on your throne boss like energy crown on your head also ram's horns on the crown you see those ram's horns so so i wrote kicking butt and taking names no bs here very serious minded about your future and your future looks bright you have figured out exactly what you want and you're going for it. Wow, that's so good to see. It really is. It's fantastic. I love it. Okay, so let's look up the Emperor. Major Arcana, I might add. Oh, gosh, I went right to the page. I'm shocked. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, boundaries and structure make us feel safe. The emperor is full of authority and creates a world full of rules and laws. She is a comforting answer to the chaos of the natural world, but she is rigid and uncompromising on her stony throne. She requires logic and reason above all else, and she is unafraid to lead and take the reins to shape the world around her. Though she lords over a powerful and grand cityscape, the river of life has slowed to a trickle behind her. There's a little, um, you know, like a little, well, not a river, what would it be? Well, anyway, just a trickle of water. Protect yourself if you need to. Don't allow others to walk all over you. And don't be afraid to stand up. Stand up. Take charge and force change logic and reason may be the best approach for a particular problem by creating some stability in your life you may be able to release some anxiety don't lose touch with your compassion though stubbornness and stoicism will not always be the best answer okay so i feel like that coincides with what i said too so i think it's fantastic yeah, this reading is really good. And, you know, just to recap, you may be going a little too fast here, a little headstrong. You've been through something in the past, uh, something major in the recent past. And then things are looking up like really looking up and you got like a pay raise or so something or maybe multiple things have improved for you, right? It could be multiple things. You might have moved. You might have even gotten a different job. I, you know, changed relationships, whatever it is, but it's good. It's great. And then you got this sitting on your throne, and you boss like energy, right? So you're doing good. Just remember to be compassionate and don't be, you know, like too stubborn, right? Yeah. So just take a breath and enjoy your success. And I'm so happy for you. And also, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And you know, I'm writing the, my book right now. But I will try to throw in some readings from time to time. And then when I'm done writing my book, I'm going to dive in to the readings. Because I really, I really want to do the readings. Um, and you have to have a brand. So if you're a card reader, that's a brand. But you see the other card readers don't show their dog and cats and all the off-the-wall stuff that I share. But that's what I want to share right now. And, but I just feel like if I would have just stuck with the card reading, I'd be way ahead by now. But it's not about that for me. I want to share things that are important to me with you that I think might be important to you as well. Uh, or help you, you know, navigate a little bit of your life, hopefully. All right, but okay, guys, have a great one. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.